Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River, North Dakota. As you can see, we are here at our soybean field. Moisture's finally down to 10%. And wouldn't you know it, corn is ready and dried down too. So, we're going to kick things off here. And uh, we're going to start by cutting soybeans. Uh, since we got the bean header on already. Or the grain header, I should say. Oh. Perfect. We can drop soybean straw. So, that is going to be good to know. Because we are going to take full advantage of that. Now, <clears throat> the map does not have soybean straw installed on it. But, with Thunder FS... Uh, with his script that added the moisture to the game, that actually also uh, makes it so s different crops have straw. So I think, if I'm correct, we will actually be able to make corn stock bales as well. So we're going to find that out when it uh, once we start combining over there. But for now... Uh, we're gonna work on this and uh, we might might end up looking into uh, getting ourselves set up with a baler and uh, stuff like that here this fall so that would be excellent to uh, get a little bit of extra income and uh, make some more bales to sell and it's also good to know for future reference that uh, we can do this for uh, down the road whenever we get into running some cattle so we will uh, definitely keep that in mind And hopefully we have enough uh, bin space, otherwise we might have to talk to the bank about uh, taking out a little bit of a loan and see if we can't get some other bins in here. Um, I'd like to put up a couple of hopper bins or something if we could. But we're just going to have to wait it out and see. But, like I said, that is... It's really good that we are dropping straw, because... We could use all the extra money we can get here, so... That's excellent. I am curious though, if we turn it off, what, uh, what we got going. So even if we were to turn it off, I'm guessing that we could realistically um, come in here with a rake and rake that up. But, being that we can drop it in a windrow, we're, uh, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Because uh, that's way easier on us. The corn might be a little different story. We might have to go rake that, but... And we did get our other truck back from the dealership. That one also went through with a uh, clean bill of health. So both of our trucks are good to go. We can hit that from here. Perfect. 
I'm going to do just that. We're not quite actually where we should be, but we're close enough. So we'll see if either a neighbor can uh, help us out and lend us a baler or and a rake or uh, we'll see if the dealership can hook us up with some rental equipment or something. We'll make something work. But so far so good, we're actually pretty decent on uh, our yield here, so we're not doing too bad. Which beans usually aren't always the uh, greatest yielding either, so. But they aren't too bad. Missing a whole strip here. I don't want to be doing that. Ooh, we should be able to get a decent jump on things um, just today even so that'll also be nice Once we get down to the end here, we're just going to dump in a truck. I'm not too worried about only filling one or 
the other at a time because they are all going to get filled up at some point or another anyways so they're kind of spread out for the purpose of trying to unload in certain places or whenever needed I should say So we're just going to come over here and unload on this. Oh, come on now. I'm going to unload in this international here. again. Perfect. Oh, we're missing again. Turn it. It is a pretty nice soybean texture though that uh, Smebby picked for this map. I do really like the look of them. It is a pretty realistic texture, actually. Okay, we'll do this north headland here. Now I'm not sure if I'd mentioned this earlier in the series or not, even if I did, uh, I guess I'll just state it again. We are playing on hard difficulty, um, so things are a little tougher, just to make things a little more realistic for us, the best that we can anyways. Ok, 
Okay, beans that we are as full as we are. And we're over here, we're gonna go ahead and dump on this truck right away. Let's see if we can do it without hitting this one. Okay. And off we go. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it or not, but I can notice that I can actually hear the straw dropping out the back of the combine, which is kind of neat. It'll definitely be nice uh, down the road when we can upgrade combines and maybe look at getting one with uh, some GPS. That would really be handy. Definitely would be nice to have a rake for uh, even when we are dropping straw swaths, just to kind of ease the bailing a little bit, but maybe down the road that'll come. probably unload right away while we're down here just to make sure that we can make it do another down and back pass
And I do have the auger set up on the bin already back at home. So uh, we don't have to worry about getting that set up. There we go. Now we got her without hitting it. Almost have that truck full. Better. Sweet. Well, quarter of a combine load per pass. A little better than that, actually. It's not bad. Can't quite complain with that uh, kind of a yield. Granted, our combine also isn't all that big, so there is that, but... I think we'll just unload every time that we come back down here. And I think what we'll do is we'll hit the end of this pass and then we'll uh, top off that international truck and then uh, probably call it an episode might be a couple minutes short of normal, but I think it'll be a pretty good stopping point. I 
Okay, so let's go see how much more we can get on that other truck. See if we can get that one full. Shut the thresher off here. Or separator. Whichever you want to call it. We definitely got a long ways to go though on this field. Goodness. Yeah, we can still fit some more on this truck. It's only 65% full right now. So I think what we'll do then is I'll, uh, after the episode, I'll move that truck down there. Or in the next episode, even, whichever. Alright, well folks, thank you all for uh, tuning in today, and uh, hope you all enjoyed it, and as always, we'll catch you all in the next one.